what is sugar? We all know the answer, don't we? It's that sweet stuff that we put on our food as often as we can. But what is it chemically? Sugar starts out simply with an oxygen and several carbons. Then each of those carbons should have one or two hydrogens on it. And wherever it doesn't have a hydrogen, it will connect to another carbon. This sort of ring or a line, sometimes it's a ring, sometimes it's a line, of carbons attached to an oxygen and hydrogens and various hydrogens or other carbon groups is what makes sugar, that sweet, delicious goodness that we know. Now, the most basic sugar formula is a certain number or n of carbons and a certain number or n of hydrogen and oxygen, with the hydrogen having twice as many uh, hydrogens as oxygen in it. The most common form of this is glucose. Glucose is probably the single most common form of sugar, and it's the basis of all life on our planet. It's also known as dextrose. Its formula is C6H12O6. Now you'll notice that fructose, the next sugar we're going to talk about, also has C6H12O6, but instead of being arranged in a ring, it's arranged in a line. But, as I said, these are the two most common sugars. There are another six different sugars that make up what's needed for most life forms. But today we're going to primarily be talking about one of those. To get that sugar, you take a glucose and you add it to a fructose. You bind these two molecules together, or rather a plant binds the two molecules together, and you get something wonderful and delicious. This is the table sugar, the sugar you see in crystals, and the sugar that you add to your cereal and that you cook with. This is sucrose. So let's find out some more about this wonderful sugar named sucrose.